Pinters. Welcome back to my channel. Embedded Linux is kind of a confusing term that is used nowadays to describe a wide variety of devices. With the advent of single board computers like the Raspberry Pi and BeagleBones running Linux and with ARM processors becoming more powerful than ever while remaining very power efficient, Embedded Linux has become an upcoming field in electronics and computer science with plenty of opportunities to build really powerful and intelligent systems. In this video, let's learn what Embedded Linux is and what are the possible applications that Embedded Linux devices can bring about. So let's begin. Let's start by breaking down the terminology of Embedded Linux a bit to understand the things better. First, let's see what is the meaning of the term embedded. Embedded here is the short form for embedded systems. We have made a video about what embedded systems are, their classifications and application that you can find in the link given in the description below. If you are a complete beginner, I recommend you to pause this video and see the video first to understand the entire spectrum of embedded devices, to understand the place of embedded Linux in embedded devices world. To give you one line definition, embedded systems are special purpose devices designed keeping a special purpose in mind. Now that you have seen the meaning behind the term embedded in embedded Linux, let's see how Linux comes into the picture to make special category of devices called as embedded Linux devices. Let's also understand the meaning of Linux now. Linux is basically the kernel of the open source operating system named GNU Linux. Yes, this is the official name, though we use the term Linux a lot in our day-to-day -day conversations. Let's have a look at the brief story about Linux to understand it better. A story about the birth of Linux. Sometime back, before Windows and Mac operating system came into the picture, the operating system that was widely used on computers was Unix operating system. Some tech enthusiastic like you guys came together to make an open source alternative for Unix, which basically meant writing all the source code needed to get an operating system that behave exactly like Unix, but it can be distributed free of charge through the internet. The name of their organization is GNU, which stands for GNU is not Unix. Let me clarify that for you. In that, G is for GNU, N is for NOT, and U is for UNIX. They were successful in making all the utilities apps that came with UNIX, but kernel was getting delayed. Fortunately for them, at another corner of the planet, a college student named Linus Turwald was working on making a copy of the UNIX's kernel and was successful in doing so. So Linus Turwals contributed to this code to the GNU community and an operating system named GNU Linux was born. What is embedded Linux? The term embedded Linux is used to describe an embedded system that is running a Linux kernel inside. Then what is an embedded Linux device? These are the special purpose computer running the Linux kernel and just the necessary GNU utilities to help achieve the specific purpose the device is built for. In other words, if you build a device that is targeted for a specific purpose and runs the Linux kernel and some of the GNU utilities, then you have used the software technology named Embedded Linux to build a hardware technology that belongs to the category of Embedded Linux device. 
It's as simple as that. Why we can't run regular GNU Linux on embedded Linux devices? You might have noticed that I have used the words just the necessary GNU utilities and some of the GNU utilities. What this really means for us in embedded Linux, it means we only use what we need as our goal is very specific. GNU utilities include programs to manage file system, user, manage and connect to computer network, etc. If our particular product doesn't need or use some of the components typically used on a general purpose computer, we simply remove it. So that our final product will need fewer resources to run and thus we can make economically cheaper products. Let's start to learn the difference between Linux and embedded Linux in a form of a table. So let's start with Linux first. Linux is used with general purpose computers. Embedded Linux on the other hand is used with special purpose computer or embedded systems. Linux runs on CISC architecture based processors like 86 and 64. Whereas embedded Linux runs on RISC architecture based processor like ARM. Linux need plenty of hardware support like hard disk, network cards, sound cards, graphic cards, etc. On the other hand, embedded Linux hardware support is limited to only the ones that are considered necessary for the project in hand. Linux is a resource and power hungry hardware. On the other hand, Embedded Linux is more efficient and less resource hungry. It usually run on batteries. In Linux, we need BIOS and UEFI boot support. On the other hand, for embedded Linux, we do not need BIOS and UEFI support. For Linux, no real time requirements. On the other hand, Embedded Linux system, usually it comes with real-time requirements. If you are hearing the term real-time for the first time, check out the link in the description below and also one article on real-time systems. I hope by now you have a good understanding of what Embedded Linux really means. Let's look at some of the application of Embedded Linux now. Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence App this is one of the areas that is expected to benefit a lot from embedded Linux. As you might know, training a machine learning system is very resource intensive, but running a trained system is not. If you Google, you can already find such applications. Data and signal processing and multi-threading applications. Linux kernel is highly scalable and it can run efficiently on multi-core system, making good use of several applicable cores and this can help in applications that need several threads and run in parallel. Data processing and digital signal processing are two areas where this ability of embedded Linux devices can be put to good use. Other embedded Linux devices. These include Network devices like routers, switches, network attached storage devices and home entertainment systems like smart TVs. All of which have a specific purpose and hence just need the subset of functionalities as compared to a general purpose computer. I hope you guys have learned something through the video and hope this was useful to you guys. You can find the link to an article explaining embedded Linux in the description given below. If you would like to learn more about embedded system, visit our website embeddedinventor.com. If you have any questions and suggestions for the future video, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you inventors in the next one.